Many of the houses in Sedamsville were built before 1930. They've seen better days. Sedamsville is a historic neighborhood. Seth Walsh wants to restore Sedamsville one house at a time, and he's starting here with this abandoned house. What we're going to do here is just kind of renovate it. Um, we're going to pour a lot of money into this house and we're going to try to sell it for a little above market value here in Sedamsville to bring in a strong anchor tenant. Um, and then work our way down the street. Walsh is executive director of Sedamsville Community Development. He showed us around the house, which clearly needs work, but has possibilities. A beautiful old wood here. Uh, I think it's going to be great as when we actually get it renovated. It's a new beginning for an old house, but a really big job, and that's where you need help. Nine on your neighborhood side learned they needed a dumpster to clean out the house. So we contacted Rumkey, and they donated this. The Interfraternity Council from UC provided the elbow grease. For me, it's definitely a sense of giving back. Uh, it takes a community. I, I was raised, I'm from Cleveland originally, so uh, I know that it takes a community to raise me, and uh, when I came down here, the sense of pride in the city of Cincinnati was something that I got immediately. All the work that we're trying to do is to try and show people, hey, we're here. Most people don't even know we're here. Cindy Baston hopes a family will buy this house, and then another house will be restored, and another. And then people will know exactly where Sedamsville is and take pride in it. And this weekend on the Sedamsville house, uh, the work will be completed. So what we want to know is, is there a problem in your neighborhood? Let us know about it if you have a problem. Go to WCPO.com neighbor and fill out a form. Go right there.